All right, now we're doing AQ sum without highest and lowest number. This is by user 5036852, and 89% of the people like it. We're going to sum all the numbers in a given array except the highest and lowest element by value, not by index. The highest or lowest element, respectively, is a single element at each edge, even if there are more than one with the same value. Mind the input validation. Right. So, and also, here's the input validation. If an empty value said or nothing is given instead of an array, or the given array is an empty list or a list without one element, return zero. Okay. And here's some examples. Uh, it's going to cut off ten and one. So eight plus two plus six is sixteen. So this one's going to cut off eleven and one. So one plus two plus three is six. Okay. So over here, let's set up shop. And for this one, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna use, we're gonna sort it using the sort method. Then we're going to slice the first and last one off of that sort. And then we're going to uh, reduce and add them all together, all right? So first we're gonna say, but first we have to make sure that array even exists. So first array, and if that exists, we're gonna say array dot sort. And if you don't know about the sort method, uh, I mean, it sorts, of course. And here's the syntax for it here. It's going to be sort A, B, and uh, for lowest to highest, we just, we just put A minus B. Okay. So we're going to say sort A, B, oops, A comma B, arrow function A minus B. All right. Now that's going to put it in order from lowest to highest. And then now we're going to have to slice it. So the slice method returns a shallow copy uh, depending on where you cut it at. So on this one, if you cut it at 2, 0, 1, excuse me, 0, 1, 2, it's just going to go camel on. Uh, if On this one, if you slice it uh, 1 and then also you take the fifth element off, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and there's nothing after 5, so that doesn't matter. Uh, on this one, you take off 2 from the end, so it's... No, excuse me, you start from the end like that. Anyway, on this one, this is the main one we're going to use. Okay, so it's going to start at 2, and it's also going to take 1 off the end. So 0, 1, 2, and then takes 1 off the end, and there's duck right there. Okay, so let's do that over here with the slice, dot slice, and we're going to start with 1. So it's going to cut off this one and start at here, or this one and start here. And then we're going to also say negative 1 to slice the end of it off, all right? Now that we've done that, now we're going to do reduce, dot reduce, and reduce method ex executes a user, apply, user supplied reducer callback function on each element of the array in order, passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. The final result of running uh, the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value. Uh, the first time that the callback is run, there is no return value of the previous calculation. If supplied, an initial value may be used in its place, and we're going to have to use that on this one. And the easiest to understand case is uh, to return the sum of all elements, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to reduce this new list that came out, which is the sorted list minus the first and the last. We're going to reduce, and here's the... Here's the syntax we're going to use. We're going to use previous value, current value, and we're also going to use an initial value on that. So the previous value, prev, and then cur, and we're going to do the arrow function, and prev plus cur, and then we're going to have initial value of zero right there. And so right now it reads, if array exists, we're going to do this, and if array doesn't exist, just like it says here, we're going to put zero, okay? Let's test it out, see what happens. Awesome. Attempt it. Good. Submit it. Awesome. Come on, submit. All right, there we go. My solutions, just me, best practice in my opinion, very much like this, and we'll see you next time.